Mm -hmm. So I was like, when she's gonna, I kept on like continuously looking uh, behind me. And the people behind me must have been thinking, can she stop looking behind? But I kept on looking because I needed <laughs> to see if you're coming in. Uh, because then I was going to turn on my phone light really quickly to show Aww. you where I'm sitting. Because it was so pitch dark, you wouldn't have found me probably. Mm -hmm. And then you were where you were carrying like two popcorns, right? Mm -hmm. And like two drinks. Like how how is she gonna? Huh, you're gonna. I was like, so where you're gonna fall and you're gonna drop everything. And, uh, no, it, you, you balance so perfectly. I like, yeah, juggling. Well, I used to I used to be a server, you know. <laughs> I, me too. Oh no wonder we're so talented then. Tell me your craziest server story. Um, Do you have one. Not so crazy, but there was one time, this was more irritating than anything. Mm. Um, some kids had come in to eat, and mm. while we were not looking, they drew on the table with ketchup and mustard and left. Uh, at least that's removable. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a pain to clean up, you know? Because, like, you, mm. you can't just use one rag. You got to, like, continuously go back and rinse it out in the kitchen. <laughs> and then, And I really am grossed out by ketchup, so... It was getting to me. <laughs> uh, I also have a story. You want to hear it? Yes. So I was serving. So I, I was working in a hotel. So uh, I, I would mm, sir, like be a waitress, so to say, mm -hmm. for breakfast buffet, but also sometimes for lunch and dinner, but mostly breakfast and lunch. And then for breakfast, we often had like big travel groups mm. uh, from all over the world. And... <laughs> There was this one travel group where uh, it was already summertime, so we ca we were able to have the people sit outside uh, on on the tables outside. Okay, mm -hmm. so but you have to go inside to get something from the buffet, and we had like floor to ceiling mm, windows and oh. doors, and the door was, however, open, you know, wide open. But this one guest, he takes a bowl of cereal and stuff, and then walks towards the outside and just walk straight into the wall that is a glass window <laughs> and Why? i saw it with my eyes because he thought that like i guess the windows were just <gasps> so clean but the door was literally right next to him it was open <laughs> like normally you should be able to see a difference between where there is no window and where there is a window but uh -huh. he walked right into it and he was really perplexed and all the other guests saw it too he must have been really embarrassed so i tried not to laugh but some people <laughs> were giggling and the cereals and the milk were all over the window Aww. and the floor yeah but i feel bad because like this can happen to anyone like these kind of accidents are so embarrassing yeah you, you're just hoping nobody was looking and you just act normal and all that. Like, oh not a big deal yeah my head is really really hurting right now but not a big deal hey but you know the upside you said that was when you were working in a hotel right Mm -hmm. upside is at least you're in a hotel you're staying there so even if you get covered in milk and cereal you can just go up and wash and change your clothes you know like at least I it didn't so. happen at an actual restaurant because then you don't have the option oh, yeah. to leave you know like oh, yeah. well i mean you can but then you have to drive home in your car covered yeah, in milk probably a change of clothes in the same building mm -hmm. so yeah it was good <laughs> yeah because a, a part of me was kind of annoyed by uh these travel groups sometimes because they often left a huge mess, mess on yeah the tables. uh some of them didn't even take plates they just ate on the like tablecloth i'm like what the fuck ah 